You probably already love Disney princesses, and this is why you will be happy to hear that there are even more of them. Make sure you watch this video until the end to know who is the young girl that fans used to call the forgotten Disney princess. If you love Disney princesses as much as we do, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today we are showing you 10 Disney princesses you never heard of. Anastasia some of you probably thought that Anastasia was a Disney movie, and you would have been wrong, until recently. That's because Disney acquired Fox in December 2017 for more than $52 billion. This is what makes Anastasia a Disney princess. She already looked like one, and we are happy to say that she can now join the group. The story was inspired by the Grand Duchess Anastasia Nikolaevna of Russia, in a movie that was more appropriate for kids than the original story. Anya used to live in an orphanage, but did remember the life that she used to live before she arrived. This is why she went on a journey to understand what really happened to her. She met two men who wanted to dress her to turn her into Princess Anastasia. That's because her grandmother offered a reward to anyone who would find the young princess. But what they didn't know was that Anya was actually the real Anastasia. When he found out about it, Rasputin tried to get rid of her. But you'll have to watch the movie to know what happened. Many people said that Anya was easily the strongest, most independent animated female to grace the screen at that time, surpassing even Belle. This is why we are really happy to see that she is now part of the Disney family. We need kids to watch good role models like this. Melody Every Disney Princess sequel was a failure, but that doesn't mean that we didn't like the characters. One of those we liked the most was probably Melody from The Little Mermaid 2 Return to the Sea. She was the daughter of Ariel and Prince Eric, which makes her a princess both on the land and under the sea. Unfortunately, the young girl couldn't go anywhere near water because it was too dangerous when Ursula's sister was there. Morgana was planning revenge and Ariel didn't want her daughter to be involved in the conflict. This was why Melody never had the chance to know anything about the sea, including her mermaid heritage. You probably guessed what would happen when she grows up. Melody never knew why she was banned from entering the sea, so she regularly sneaked out to swim. When her mother found out about this, she tried to stop her, but we know that girls don't listen to the rules in this family. She decided to run away, or actually row away, in a boat. That was when she was lured to Morgana's lair, who used a potion to turn Melody into a mermaid. What will happen next? You'll have to watch the movie to find out. By the way, we also got the chance to see Ariel's sisters, Atina, Alana, Adela, Aquata, Arista, and Adrina. As they are the daughters of King Triton, we shouldn't forget that they are princesses too. Chanel Oberlin Now that Disney owns Fox, a ton of our favorite female characters are going to become Disney princesses, but they also need the status. We think that Chanel Oberlin from Screen Queens deserves to be treated like a princess. She used to be the president of Kappa Kappa Tau and had an army of minions called the Chanels. Unfortunately, everything went wrong when the Red Devils started taking the lives of all of her friends. Stop ruining the party! No matter what, Chanel kept her head up and managed to look fabulous in front of a murderer. Not a lot of people can say that, not because they are not fabulous, but because they try to avoid murderers. Anyway, even though most people would think that Chanel was just a beautiful little princess, she showed everyone that she could also be a scream queen. And no matter what, we are always surprised by all the things she managed to achieve. Unfortunately, in the second season, Chanel was disowned by her family. This is why she had to work as a medical student in a weird hospital, along with the other Chanel's. If you watched the second season until the end, you know that she will have the chance to become a queen once again. But we'll let you watch the TV series so you'll find out about that all by yourself. We have to tell you, this show is absolutely worth it. Vanellope Von Schweetz Here's another princess who is not like any other. She was one of the heroes in Wreck-It Ralph, and we immediately knew that this Disney movie would be different. Vanellope was the main character of the video game Sugar Rush, and also used to be the in-game world's princess. Unfortunately, King Candy hijacked Sugar Rush and tried to delete Vanellope, turning her into a glitch instead and making sure that everyone would forget about her. This is how the Candy King was able to rule the kingdom. The only way Princess Vanellope could be back on the throne was by crossing the finish line in an official race. This is why the evil character made every Everyone believed that a glitch like her would ruin the game, and they started bullying her. However, turning into a glitch gave her the power to teleport from place to place in the blink of an eye. That makes her one of the coolest Disney princesses, even though she didn't have much control over it. Unfortunately, years of bullying is also what made her annoying, obnoxious, and rude. But deep inside her, Princess Vanellope has always been loving and loyal to those who liked her. Do you think that someone will give her a chance? You'll have to watch Wreck-It Ralph to find out about it. The White Witch Here's another Fox movie that was bought by Disney. Okay, so technically Jadis from Narnia is actually a queen, but that means that she has been a princess before, so she deserves a place on this list. Queen Jadis, also known as the White Witch, used to be the sole living resident and the self-declared queen of the world of Charn. That was because she spoke to the deplorable world, which was strong enough to destroy all living things except the caster. She was then accidentally brought to the world of Narnia, and she decided that she would become the most infamous ruler of this world too. She had the power to force Narnia into a 
100 year state of winter, and this is why she earned the title of White Witch. It wouldn't be that bad, but then she also banned the celebration of Christmas, which made things worse than ever. No one wanted to confront her as they were afraid of her powers. That was until she was overthrown by two sons of Adam and two daughters of Eve, just like the prophecy predicted. If you want to know how four kids managed to do that, you'll have to watch the movie. But we have to admit that if we ever lived in a Disney movie, we think that Elsa from Frozen would be a better queen. She made winter much more enjoyable. Kida. Kida Kakash Nadak, also known as Kida, was one of the heroes of not only one Disney movie, but actually two, Atlantis The Lost Empire and Atlantis Milo's Return. As the daughter of Kasha Kim Nadak, King of Atlantis, she had everything it takes to be a queen. But why wasn't she a Disney princess like all the others that we know? Kida didn't just wait around for a prince to come. She was the leader of a small group of hunters. One day, she noticed a large group of outsiders and wanted to help them. However, her father wanted them to leave, with no explanation. Kida later found out that the group was there to steal the heart of Atlantis, which was the power source keeping the city alive. What will Kida do to protect her city? She will be the hero of her own destiny. The filmmakers always wanted Kida to stand out from other Disney princesses both in appearance and in personality. She wasn't a damsel in distress, but a warrior woman who had everything she needed to achieve her own goals. However, the classic Disney princesses were already really popular, and it was risky to make such a change at that time. We think that Kida deserves a second chance, and this is why you should watch Atlantis The Lost Empire, but maybe not the straight to DVD sequel. Neytiri. We've seen Disney princesses of many different origins, but we never thought that one of them would be blue. That was Neytiri from Avatar, the Navi princess of the Emetikaya clan. She lived a beautiful life as she grew up learning to love and to celebrate her connection with all other life through songs. She was really similar to a Disney princess after all, but unfortunately, her worst enemies were the humans. That was until she met Jake Sully, a genetically engineered body of a human Navi hybrid, also called an avatar. She didn't trust him until something told her that he was actually pure. She even saved him when he was attacked by a pack of viper wolves, even though she wasn't supposed to hurt any living creature. However, not everyone agreed that Jake was a friend, and this is why the leaders of the clan had to decide his fate. They finally said that he could stay with them, but Neytiri had to teach him the ways of the people. And as they worked together, the two began falling in love with each other. The movie Avatar proved that a princess can be the hero of her own story and fall in love, but also learn how to fight for what is right. She was not waiting for a prince charming to save her, and this is what makes her a great role model. Ada and Dot. Pixar movies are Disney movies too, and that means that two of our favorite characters from A Bug's Life are actually Disney princesses. Ada was the eldest daughter of the queen of the ant colony, while Dot was the youngest, and Ada had to face one of the biggest challenges of her life in the movie. She was close to inheriting the crown from her elderly mother, and she had to be prepared for this. This is why she was very nervous regarding her newfound responsibility. And she also had another thing on her mind. Ada had to deal with this little troublemaker called Flick, who happened to be friends with her little sister Dot. She was actually a little too little, because she hated being small and wished that she could be like Flick. And he turned out to be even better than we imagined when the bugs he recruited saved Little Dot. That was when Ada started being interested in him. And we could even say that she had a little crush, but just a little, because Flick was still causing a lot of trouble. You know that in movies, things are never as easy as it seems. What will happen next? You'll have to watch A Bug's Life to find out more about two Disney princesses that are not like any other. Tilda. Thanks to Fox, Kingsman became a Disney princess movie that grown-up men will love to watch, even though there is nothing wrong with a grown-up man who loves the classic Disney princess movies. Anyway, Crown Princess Tilda of Sweden was one of the heads of state and VIPs who met Richmond Valentine to discuss about global warming. She thought that he was completely insane, and this is why she was locked away in his base in the mountains. She was later discovered by Eggsy, who asked for a kiss if he freed her, since he never kissed a princess before. Tilda didn't only agree, she said that she would give him much more than that if he freed her, but only grown-ups who watch the movie will know what that thing is. They finally started dating each other, but Tilda stayed home while Eggsy was on a mission involving an intimate relationship with a woman. And once again, Tilda got in trouble, and he had to save her. We think that Kingsman is great and really well made. This is why we wish that Tilda could be just as great. Princesses should be able to do more than simply be a beautiful woman in distress. We'll still give her a chance and hope that she will do better now that she is a Disney princess. Iloni. She was one of the heroes of The Black Cauldron, a Disney movie. She even used to walk around Disney parks during the release of the movie. Unfortunately, it didn't perform well compared to other Disney movies, so she didn't make it to the official list. This is why Iloni was nicknamed the Forgotten Disney Princess. But we still think that she deserves our attention. Iloni was taken hostage by the Horned King, who hoped that he could find the legendary Black Cauldron. While she was trying to escape, she met a farm boy named Taran, and they decided to leave the castle together. They then went on a journey together to find the Black Cauldron, until they 
quickly were captured again by the Horned King. What is he going to do this time? We'll let you watch The Black Cauldron to know what happens at the end. Even if there is some love in this movie, Iloni knows how to be the hero of her own story. She did need a man at some point, but he needed her just as much. And that's how every Disney movie should be. Which is your favorite Disney princess among those we can see on this list? Don't be shy to answer in the comments section down below. We love to hear what you think. And that's it for 10 Disney princesses you never heard of. For more stories like this, make sure you watch This Is How Disney Princesses Should Have Really Looked. Thanks for watching and see you next time.